what's up guys Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews and today I bring you episode 71 of the coolest tech of the month August 2022. So I'm back with another epic episode where I'll be checking out a whole bunch of innovative core tech products and gadgets and in this episode you're going to see an e-bike, a 4k action camera, lots of audio tech, a Kodak instant camera, a mini car dash camera, wireless HDMI extender and lots lots more and as usual everything you're about to see will be linked in the description box with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product that interests you so without any further ado let's begin with the first cool product so starting off with the more funds eole s electric bike and this one is made completely from carbon fiber so strong and super lightweight it weighs only 14 kgs and inside the box you will find a user manual a small bag of screws you get a multi-tool a box containing the charger and power cable and here's a closer look at the power cable and charger itself next we have our seat and mine also comes with a rear rack which is optional so you don't even have to install it if you don't want to and you also get a removable battery now it took only a few minutes to assemble the e-bike with very clear and easy instructions to follow. This is a foldable bike which folds in half from the center and secures with a latch. The bar under the seat is your removable battery and you have easy locks to quick access the battery and also the seat bar is height adjustable and so is the front bar. Now you also have foldable pedals and the charger port is conveniently located at the front just below the seat. Now the bike has 20 inch tires with a puncture proof layer which is certainly reassuring. Now quick look at the handlebar controls. We have left hydraulic brake, an onboard LCD which shows you some metrics for your speed, distance and battery life. And this e-bike has three speeds, three being your top speed and you can change between them using the plus and minus button. And on the right side we have front hydraulic brake, nine speed Shimano gears and a small bell. And this bike is powered by a 250 watt rear hub motor. So this e-bike offers a smooth ride. The motor is quite silent in operation. Acceleration is also pretty good. This e-bike offers a top speed of 25 kilometers per hour and quite an impressive 40 kilometer range. There is no throttle, so this works completely with pedal assist. And I believe there are three levels of pedal assist, three being the fastest level meaning less pedaling effort from you. And whilst in pedal assist level three, just pedaling half circles gets you quite far with the electric motor. Now the 250 watt motor offers plenty of power for up hills. So if you see a hill coming up, just switch up the pedal assist level and pedaling uphill feels effortless. Also, I love how lightweight this e-bike is. It's only 14 kgs thanks to the carbon fiber body. It's very quick and easy to fold in case you need to commute by train or car, then unfold and you're ready to go. So that was the super light but powerful Morphun's EOLE S. Awesome stuff. So next up we have the Wolfgang GA420 4K action camera. So here it is, you do get a waterproof case included, but the action camera itself also has a 10 meter waterproof body. Now on the front we have a 170 degree wide angle lens. This action camera can shoot 4K at 60 FPS and 20 megapixel photos. We've got dual screens, one on the front and one on the back. And the back screen is in fact a touch screen. On the top we've got a mode button, shutter button. On the side we've got power button. On the other side we've got a latch, so you can open that latch. And that will give you access to your micro USB charging port and mini HDMI. At the bottom we do have a tripod thread and a battery compartment. Open it, this is where the battery goes and you've got a micro SD card slot on the side. And you also get two 1350 milliamp hour batteries included. Not only that, this comes with a handy remote control and this also comes with a clip-on lavia microphone that you can wear and that is micro USB. So memory card has been installed, the action camera is now switched on. If you keep the mode button pressed, We'll turn off the back screen and activate the front screen. And that is a great feature if you're into vlogging. I'll quickly show you maximum video resolution supported is 4K at 60 FPS and electronic image stabilization is available at that resolution. 
Now this camera can shoot 4K at 60 FPS with electronic image stabilization on. And you can see the video footage on screen right now. And that should give you an idea of what sort of quality you can expect from this camera. And you can also shoot 20 megapixel photos. And I will also share some of my photo samples with you on screen. So the Wolfgang 4K60 action camera, this is the GA420. Awesome stuff. So here we have the Pitaka flipbook case for iPad Pro. So this is for the iPad Pro. You've got two sizes, 11 inch or 12.9 inch. So we're just gonna very quickly check out the 11 inch model. So the flipbook case for iPad Pro, this is the 11 inch model. So this is a carrying sleeve to hold your iPad Pro 11 and Magic Keyboard. So that is exactly what I have on this side. So my Magic Keyboard and iPad are ready to go. So I'll quickly show you how you use this. You have to peel off the stickers on either side. So that's one sticker peeled off, All right, second sticker peeled off. Align it carefully, like so. That seems right to me. And the other one will fit nicely on top. So I'm ready to peel off this side now. Okay, one and two. So here we go. Stick this side on. Perfect. And that is it guys. So the Magic Keyboard and iPad have turned into this wonderful looking briefcase. Very stylish as well. Love the design. Very stylish leather finish. And you've got that really nice effect that you usually see on the Pitaka smartphone cases. So yeah, this is a really smart looking case. So when you wanna take pictures, you can move the camera flap and use the camera. And again, that's magnetic too. You've got a pocket here as well, so you can put some additional extras in there should you need to. Now the best part of this product I'm about to show you, you can now open this just like a book and your iPad 11 Pro and Magic Keyboard will be ready to use. Check it out guys. I love it. This is an awesome product. And as soon as you're finished, away you go. And yes, the pen can be stored on top. You've got a spare pocket for your Apple Pencil. There you go. Man, I'm really liking this product. The Pitaka Flipbook case for iPad Pro, available for both 11 inch and 12 inch. So if you already have an iPad Pro and a Magic Keyboard case, definitely check it out. The price is not bad either. Pitaka Flipbook case, people. Awesome stuff. So next up, we are looking at the Van True E1 mini car dash camera. So this is a super mini car dash camera, it supports 2.5K resolution video with HDR, and you've got that wide f1.8 aperture. This also has built-in 2 gigahertz Wi-Fi and GPS. Uh, this action camera also features voice control. On the side, we've got an orange power button, micro SD card slot, at the bottom, we've got a video recording button and some navigational controls. And you can also see we have a built-in microphone right there. On this side, we've got a reset hole and a Type-C charging port. And at the top, which is the GPS module, we have another Type-C charging port. On the back, you can see we've got a LCD display. Now this dash camera features night vision, motion detection. We've got a G sensor that can automatically detect um, collisions and it can save and lock those recordings within the memory card. The maximum memory card size supported is 512 gigabytes. There is a smartphone app which supports both Android and iOS. And the smartphone app will let you manage and download all the footage directly from the app along with the GPS data and you can play around with all the camera settings. In the box, you also get a power cable, so that's Type-C. We've got a car charger here with a spare USB port on the top and a rather long wire. And you also get a Type-C to USB-A cable. I know we've got two charging ports, but you only need to plug the power into the GPS module unit um, and that will power up the whole unit. So you're gonna stick this in your car somewhere convenient where you can easily press the button without letting go of your steering wheel. And when you press the button, it takes pictures. So at any point while it's recording video, which it will constantly do, you can also take a photo should you need to. That's quite handy to have. You don't usually get that with action cameras. So the mic button at the top actually turns voice control on or off. And the voice control itself, we're gonna try it out very briefly. Take photo. Wow, that was easier than I thought. 
turn audio on that is actually very responsive i'm not having to make much effort um, for the voice control to work you're going to stick this on the windscreen but not directly you need to put one of these in between your windscreen so you're going to peel off layer one stick this to your windscreen and then peel this one off and then you stick this onto the windscreen so quite an advanced and compact car dash camera and as you can see it's won an if design award for 2022 so that was the very well designed compact van true e1 mini car dash camera so really awesome design definitely check this one out guys so next up we are looking at the brand new edifier neobuds s check it out guys edifier's latest true wireless stereo earbuds so we've got a nice black matte finish on the charging case with the gold trademark edifier logo on the back we've got type c charging port for the actual case and open it up and you've got this really cool looking led indicator bar which can be customized so there's seven different colors that you can customize this to using the edifier smartphone app so the earbuds support bluetooth 5.2 with aptx and snapdragon sound bringing you high res audio standards of 24 bit 96 kilohertz of sound quality they do support active noise cancellation you have 10 millimeter balanced amateur dynamic drivers and the battery life is also pretty good so with active noise cancellation on you can get 5.5 hours with each earbud and if you turn active noise cancellation off you can get around six hours from each earbud also the charging case will give you an additional 16 hours with anc on or 19 hours with anc off and the actual charging time of the case itself is also only one hour now inside the box you get a carrying pouch type c charging cable and you get a whole bunch of ear tips different sizes you can see small to large and they're also different colors so by default you're getting this size pre-installed right here and they do fit quite comfy in my ear now the smartphone app is called edifier connect it's available on both ios and android it lets you change audio presets it also lets you use custom presets and it lets you customize the led case colors and lots lots more furthermore you do have six noise cancelling microphones all together and there are three on each earbud and these do feature ip54 water resistance so really nicely designed earbuds these are edifiers neobuds s definitely check them out guys all right check it out guys here we have the kodak mini shot 3 retro instant camera now with this camera kit you also get uh, two cartridges and each cartridges have 30 sheets now i've also got the accessory bundle which comes with a few exciting extras that i want to share with you guys we've got this cool looking photo album so you can take pictures stick them straight in the album you got these mini pegs so you can actually stick the photos around your room in various uh, different areas we've got a bunch of fun kodak stickers included over here we have a case for the cartridges so your spare cartridges can be stored and you also get this leather carrying pouch for the actual camera and it's got a proper carrying strap as well so you can have this over your shoulder and it's definitely going to make you look like you mean business and i think i just accidentally turned the power on before moving on i just want to see how the camera fits in the leather case in case you guys are considering the case as well wow oh awesome so it's not just a case you can use it whilst it's in the case okay you've got slots for everything so you can you can have that as a carry case you want to take a picture you just open this up let that drop down you've got your button there you can even charge it while it's in the case so you basically never have to take this out of its case it can print charge and function completely in this case really like that the design is actually quite nice you can see the model number c300r oh it's got a cartridge pre-installed and i believe it's got uh, eight sheets just so you can take sample shots so you can see a small screen viewfinder there kodak branding you've got a mirror there so if you're taking selfies that mirror will help you frame the shot correctly nice big retro lens but that you can see the lens is tiny inside and you've got an led flash on the front on the side reset hole and a micro usb power port on the top you've got shutter button and power button and you've also got a bluetooth and power light indicator on the side is where your photo will come out once you take a picture and over here is the cartridge trays photos can be shot in normal color or monochrome as well if you carry on you've got your filters 
flash can be turned on or off or automatic i'm going to leave it on automatic um, you've also got self timer and the options are five or ten seconds and there's a selfie mode as well which you can switch on or off and there is a print button as well so i'm just going to take a picture of the kodak box it's just a random shot and the best thing about this is it won't print straight away it allows you to review the photo you can decide whether you want to print it or not if you don't want to print it you can just tap the cancel button and, the, and that picture's gone so i've taken a photo which i'm relatively happy with i'm going to go ahead and try printing this now so here we go preparing all right we're printing so it's printing in yellow first magenta wow we've got color it's laminating now i think that is it that is all right that is not bad so each photo was printed in layers as you guys just saw um, and it finishes off with a laminating process so basically it's fingerprint and water resistant now as well and you could go ahead and pop this photo into the photo frame so you can preserve it hey that result is not bad at all i like that if you're into retro photography this one is actually better than i expected it to be and also um, it won't break the bank so definitely check out the kodak mini shot 3 people awesome camera So next up, we've got three brand new audio products by Trib Lab. First of all, let's check out the HD77 speaker. So inside the box, you get your usual audio cable and charger. You can see the speaker itself. The design is nice. Power button, volume control, and play pause. And on the back, you have a latch. When you open it, you will see your Type-C charging port and an audio jack. Now the speaker itself features 360 degree sound. They do support true wireless stereo, so you can pair two of these speakers up with each other and that will give you a dedicated left and right channel. They feature dual bass, so you've got double subwoofers, you've got cool looking ambient light, and if I turn on the power you will see those lights. So you've got a ring of light on either side of the speakers. Now these do feature 25 watts of maximum power. Um, you've got a 5,200 milliamp hour battery built in, which will give you around 20 hours of non-stop music. And there is also a built-in microphone so you can take your phone calls hands-free. Don't even need to touch your phone. And these are also IPX6 waterproof. <laughs> So there you have it guys, that was the Trib Lab wireless Bluetooth speaker, model number HD77. Quite feature packed for the price. Sound quality and bass levels are also pretty good. All right, next up, we've got the X3 Pro premium wireless earbuds. Now, can't wait to check these out. So first of all, that's a big charging case, but big charging case means big battery life. So 45 hour battery life with this charging case. You can see the Type-C port on the back and check out the earbuds. So these earbuds have an ear hook design. Each earbud will give you nine hours of battery life um, and of course 45 hours with the charging case. They are IPX7 water and sweat resistant and you do have a built-in microphone to take your phone calls of course and you've got volume control on each earbud and you also have um, a touch button on each earbud. So it's quite useful to have these controls on each side. It means you don't have to wear both. Maybe you're driving, you can just keep one in your ear. You can answer your calls and you can adjust the volume. And it doesn't matter which one you wanna wear or you can wear both. So decent design, the X3 Pro True Wireless Stereo Earbuds, guys. And again, you've got a whole bunch of features. So you're getting a lot of features uh, with Trib Lab products. So the Z2 wireless headphones. And again, pretty feature packed, but let's check out the quality of these. Now, I always like when headphones come in a zip-up carry case. It just means that the brand wants you to take care of them um, and they take pride in their design. So they want them to last. Here they are. They're extremely lightweight. Um, they are adjustable and the headband and ear cups are well padded and made from a leather-like material. Now, these are wireless headphones, so they support Bluetooth version 5.0. They do feature active noise cancellation. You've got a dedicated ANC button right there and they do feature aptx codec now on the other side you've got your play pause skip tracks and volume control along with micro USB charging you've got a microphone hole and you've got an audio jack so you could actually use these as wired headphones should you wish to do so 
Now these are IPX4 water and sweat resistant. Uh, you've got your built-in microphone for your phone calls. These do support your voice assistance too. And you've got a very comfortable and lightweight design. So these Z2 wireless HD headphones by Trib Lab, and they come very well presented in the zip up hard case. So next up we have the Movo wireless Lavia microphone kit. So these come in a zip up hard case, which is most welcomed. So a wireless microphone kit, it's 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmission, and they'll give you an operating distance of up to 90 meters. That's 200 feet, people. You've got a USB-C receiver, so you just plug this into your laptop, PC, Mac, or even your Android phone. On the receiver, you'll see a headphone jack, a mono stereo switch, which I've just put to stereo, and you've got your pairing frequencies. So that plugs directly into your phone. And then you've got the actual transmitter, which you're gonna wear on your clothes. So here is the crocodile clip, which slides on. So you're gonna attach this to your clothes. You've got your microphone jack and line in. You've got the on and off switch, and you've got a pairing button. At the bottom, you will see a battery compartment. So you do need two AAA batteries to get this thing started. And the receiver is powered by your phone, laptop, or MacBook. So you don't need to power this externally. Now inside the kit, you also get a professional clip-on omnidirectional Lavia microphone. Just plug that into the transmitter. You've got some wind guard and foam caps there as well, um, along with small crocodile clips. Okay, so we are now testing the sound quality of this microphone. Um, I've left the room to increase that transmission distance. Um, so that will really put it to the test. We're gonna see if we get any sort of interference or anything like that. So sound test, one, two, three, four. Sound test, one, two, three, four. So quite a versatile product, simply plug and play. No drivers required. So the Movo wireless Lavia microphone, people. Not bad for the price. This is a 4K HDMI wireless transmitter and receiver. So we've got the receiver and the transmitter. No internet required. This works via wireless signals, but it doesn't use your internet signal at all. So we have a receiver which plugs into your TV and we have a transmitter which plugs into your hardware. So this can be plugged into a satellite box, game console, laptop, or any other HDMI device that you want to play on the big screen wirelessly. So think of this as a wireless HDMI connection or extender. It basically saves you buying a long HDMI cable to extend your video signals. You're supposed to really plug this into a screen. Um, this is a projector, but I just want to see if it's going to work. Uh, I've got a PlayStation 5 downstairs and I don't like carrying the PS5 up and down. So I want to see experimental. So the transmitter is plugged into the PS5. Um, and I plugged in the USB directly into the PS5 and I'm hoping that will be sufficient to power this thing as well. All right, so as you can see, my PS5 has loaded up, but um, unfortunately it's not as smooth as I expect it to be. It is a bit choppy. So my usage example with the PS5 downstairs was a bit ambitious um, and the result was a laggy experience. Now, to make things more realistic, I've got a laptop. I'm gonna plug in the transmitter directly into this laptop. So of course it has worked, um, but we're gonna test if there's any lag. So this is my mini computer. Okay, so just pressing the start button first of all, you can see that's more or less exact same speed. Um, I wanna play a video, so let's open up. The browser. We have the brand new Pixel 6a versus the Nothing Phone 1. So as you can see, it's working absolutely fine. And this is not just transmitting the video, it's transmitting the audio as well. And as you can see, it's working. So that means if you use this device and the transmitter and receiver are at least on the same floor, you're not gonna experience any lag. I think by going downstairs, plugging into the PS5, but if you're in the same room or if you're in uh, the same floor at least, you're gonna be able to enjoy a lag-free experience. Definitely check out the 4K HDMI wireless transmitter and receiver, people. All right, so this is the Binbok wireless multi-platform game controller. Uh, controller is multi-platform, so it's compatible with PC, Mac, iPhone, Android, Nintendo Switch, and lots more. It supports Bluetooth 4.0 and it has a wireless dongle so it supports two gigahertz wi-fi using the dongle 
Now the controller has dual joysticks which are clickable. You've got a strange looking D-pad, but you can remove that and have a regular D-pad. So we've got your usual YX8B. We've got select start, shared set and a home button. Here are your triggers and there's your Type-C charging port. On the back, we've got four more buttons which can be customized uh, to your own personal preference. And we've got really nice looking LED lights and a power indicator in the middle showing you how much battery you have left. Now this controller does have dual vibration motors with four levels that you can adjust. So the controller has this really nice grippy rubberized texture. Um, it feels quite authentic, it feels good in the hands. You've got this adapter which you can just connect up and then you'll be able to attach your phone. So this is great if you're into mobile games. If you like playing Call of Duty like I do, uh, this is a great way of doing it. And it's good for game streaming. So if you're into Google Stadia, uh, PS Remote Play, the Xbox game streaming, and so on and so forth, um, this is a nice handy grip that comes with it. And it's easy to remove when you're not using it. All right, so here is some gameplay. I didn't even have to map the controls, it just works. Wow, so that was actually connected to my iPhone, um, iPhone 13 Pro, I was playing Call of Duty Mobile um, and I thought that was really good. Gameplay was so good, I just felt quicker than the competition and you saw the results, I was smashing everyone. The controller is in fact better than I thought it's going to be. The Binbok Multi-Platform Wireless Game Controller, awesome stuff, definitely check this one out guys. large box I have on the desk is a pleasant surprise um, it was sent to me by a company called illusionneon.com let's check it out shall we wow check it out guys I got myself a neon sign this looks absolutely amazing you can basically go to their website, create and design your own personalized neon signs. You can upload your company logo, you can set the background color, and you can see here we have a multi-color design. So the chigs will light up in any color and tech reviews will light up in blue. So I've got a multi-color setup going on here. I just want to turn the power on. So one gets plugged in on this side and one gets plugged in on that side. And wow, that's on straight away. Okay, let's swap the power because something's wrong here. The only thing that works is the blue lights at the bottom and the power adapter itself makes a lot of noise, especially when you move the wires a little bit. So it doesn't even feel safe. So as nice as this sign looks, it obviously doesn't work as it should. And I am disappointed because I was really looking forward to this one. So this is actually a good example to show you. So everything you see in these cool tech episodes are done together. Um, nothing is pre-tested or anything like that. You would hope the company would pre-test, of course. I will be contacting Illusion Neon. I'm sure they're watching this anyway. And I'm gonna see what they're gonna do to rectify this. And if they do, then of course, in the next episode, we'll have a working version. If not, I will let you guys know in the comments what happened. So there you have it guys, that concludes episode 71. And if you got this far, then please hit the like button and let me know which products were your favorites from the bunch and which one you might be picking up yourself. I'll see you guys again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. And everything you've seen will be linked in the description box below. Like, sub and follow if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.